Hey guys, I'm quite excited today. So I just got myself a new server, which is Dell PowerEdge R320. The reason I got this is because I just wanted to learn and tinker around. Uh, I was doing a lot of things on Raspberry Pi and Orange Pi. So I thought why not to give it a shot and probably buy a very cheap server if it is available in the market. So I got this one in just 25 USD. Yes, that's right, just 25 USD. I contacted a local enterprise here uh, and I asked if there were uh, any servers they wanted to offload and luckily I got this one. So nowadays there are so many enterprises who want to offload uh, their servers. So that's why probably I got this at such a low price. But yeah, it's actually missing some of the components. Uh, I'll talk about them briefly. And I also got these uh, SAS hard drives, which is again used SAS hard drives from the same place. Uh, these were like... Uh, I think eight USD each, and these are three terabytes each, uh, says hard drives. I haven't tested anything. I just bought this and I thought I'll make a quick video to show what exactly uh, I bought it. And so yeah, majorly it's missing two components. One is the hard drive caddies, and the other is the iDRAC port, uh, which usually is at the back. But yeah, these are the two things which are missing. So to, to overcome this hard disk caddy issue, I just 3D printed these. I know I haven't done a good job of 3D printing it, but probably the next uh, rest of these uh, probably would come out better. So yeah, uh, I think let's dive into it and let's see what are we getting in this amazing 25 USD price tag. So let's open this. And as I'm opening this, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is the first time I'm actually putting my hands on an actual server. Previously, I was just uh, using Raspberry Pi or Orange Pi and I thought why not to actually uh, do this on an actual server and learn something. So let's open this. So, okay, so now let's talk specs. Under the hood, we got an Intel E5 uh, 2480 CPU, if I'm not wrong, which is like 10 cores and 20 threads, which is awesome. However, it's currently paired with just 8 GB of RAM, but I'm not complaining. I have got plans to put uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I have some DDR3 ECC RAM lying around, so I can always upgrade this to 32 gig. And then additionally, this server boasts four 3.5 inch HDD base. So perfect for me, plenty of storage. I can put uh, four 3.5 hard disk here and probably I can install TrueNAS as a VM and then create a NAS. There is a DVD room which I'll not be using. I'll probably install a SATA SSD and I'll put my operating system. So for the operating system, I'm thinking Proxmox. But before that, for Proxmox, I need to flash my RAID controller. This is Perk H310 Mini. So I have to flash it and I have to flash it into IT mode so that Proxmox or any OS can physically access all the drives so that I don't have to do hardware raid and my operating system Proxmox in this case can directly access all the physical drives and then I can pass through to my TrueNAS VM so that I can do software raid instead of hardware raid. The other thing which I was mentioning before, it doesn't have an iDRAC. So iDRAC would have allowed me to remotely access my uh, system. I can still remotely access my system with the Proxmox, but with iDRAC, I can boot up into BIOS mode and I can power on and power off the server remotely as well. Uh, while talking about the iDRAC, which I can probably get it from eBay, shouldn't cost me a lot. It comes with two PCI riser cards. So probably I'll put one NVMe SSD adapter over here and the other one I can update this one gigabit port to 10 gigabit port yeah one thing i actually forgot to miss it doesn't have the second power supply which is okay i i was not intending to use the second power supply which is fine for me so yeah there you have it uh my latest venture into the world of server tinkering stay tuned i'll be installing a bunch of things i'll be flashing the raid controller i'll be installing trueness proxmos uh and then yeah, let's let's see what we can do with this big boy. Thanks guys for watching. Have a nice one.